Hello, I'm Andrew Lissim and welcome back to Motorsport Manager. We're at Lissim Racing in the third tier European racing series, but we managed to get someone, even with a new team, even with a terrible car, we managed to get someone to the podium last race. We got third with Gomez, and that is great. Hell, we even got seventh with Anthony. That's also really good. We're going to try and replicate that. It won't happen, but we'll try at Munich in 31 days' time. The press will be wet, the race won't be. Okay. 15 laps. Low fuel burn. We'll see if we can do it with one stop on the day. But, uh... We don't know if we can guarantee that. Meanwhile, let's look at... Oh, improving parts you're working on fixing the car from last time. Fair enough. Interview. Sure. Gomez is beaten by Bucham today. Would you consider bringing him in next season? If he's interested, that'd be a marvelous idea. Faith gets a little bit unhappier, because she knows that she'd be the one replaced. And you're butted up. Good. Because uh, it will cost a fortune to get you. But it might be worthwhile. Your stats, look at that cornering is... You're between 0 and 6. We haven't scattered you, so we don't know. Your breaking is 1 to 4. Your overtaking is near. Your fitness is terrible. You're 40 years old. Uh, I, won't, I won't be hiring you. I thought you'd want to talk to us about our, you know, third position. I thought that was pretty good. Watch out, let's see racing mechanics. Andre Gomez Ligo is about to jump several sizes as the Brazilian driver is going to be starring in his very own documentary. It's really all about me, said Gomez, wearing some designer sunglasses. I'm fine with that. Give the people what they want, right? They told me I'm one of the biggest personalities in European racing series. And if you look at it like that, why the hell shouldn't you get my own movie? Uh, film and documentary. We get an increase to marketability. Well, you are a narcissist, so fair enough. Okay. Finish repairing both cars. Let's have a look at our improvements. We're going to take you out. And we're going to put our brakes in. Those brakes are so good. They also break the rules. But they're so good. Ah, they break the rules. Because they're brakes. Yeah, I'll shut up. Uh, reliability is the most important thing right now. If we have to stop, that's it doesn't matter how good our part was. That's going to cost us a lot of time to replace it. Although that said... Factory's going to be done soon. And that increases the number of people we can have doing that. So, bring it. Uh, we did some scouting, so we should probably do more scouting. Uh, tell me about um, people in the European series. We have potential, maybe. Factory upgrade. It's a coming. Level 2 Factory. We're fourth best on the grid for a level 2 Factory. Yay. I, I think we're joint fourth then. We must be joint fourth because we maxed it out. Um, what could we improve? Like, I don't think we can afford to improve anything. The test track's 8. It's really good, by the way. It allows you to get great engines. Which is really useful. Uh, allows you to have a chance to work on the overtaking skills as well as the cornering. Forecasting is something important. Brakes R&D. Telemetry. Scouting. Staff. We need so many of these things, but no chance. Not be able to afford them. 15 mil to upgrade the factory again. Ow. Ow. But... Getting our factory so far is great, because look at this. We now have 20 people. And we have two extra slots. So good! Let's start cranking up the reliability. Uh, are there any other parts that we can improve? Yeah, 
maybe that's suspension. And we could improve, improve the engine to the max. Okay. Yeah, we should be able to be running that now, actually. Choosing a vote. Ooh. It occurs to me occasionally that you team principals might be interested in tabling a particular motion to other members of the GMA during a season. I'd like to offer you the chance to add an additional vote to this season's number. Now, naturally, I wouldn't be the GMA superior that I am if I allowed you to just choose a vote without some form of compensation, would I? The price is one million. What do you say? What, what votes could we have? Long practice, medium practice. Longer race laps. Change track layout, change track, add track, add track. Quicker pits. Unlimited pit stop crews. Increases the cost, but having two pit stop crews would be good. Very high merit payments. There's a huge difference in prize money awarded to the top and bottom teams. Points for top five only, points for top six. Currently everyone gets points. No. Remove bonus points, tempting. We're currently using pretty poor performance tires, but we could go for better performance tires. Again, that would cost more money. No. Free choice of tire compounds. Third dry weather tire compound. Virtual safety car. Refueling. Ooh, fuel tanks can last up to 8% of race distance. Fueling ban. I would say I'm against this because my strategy involving refueling is pretty, pretty decent. We've paid off pretty well. Doing this would mean that goes out the window. Developing the wings. Qualifying base grid. Random grid. No, I like the grid that's inverted, so that means the terrible people like me get to go at the front. Energy recovery system. Uh, no. Like, there are a few things here that benefit us, but I don't think the million's worth it. If I had the money to go, sure, but I don't have the money to spend. I think we've got better uses for that money. Like, one million is more than an entire race. Okay, scouting. We've got extra slots. Three. Scout you. Scout you. Scout you. Asia Super Cup. Carry on. Okay, let's look at the upcoming. Just a reminder that we are currently eighth. This is currently bang on on your original target of eighth. Not bad. Not bad at all. I know. We're just so good. And let's bet you've got eight million around lying, you know, just happening to be there that we could spend on a test track. Do you? No? No? Okay, cool. Uh, 15 lap race. Lap length is 3 miles. Blah, 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 blah. 4% chance of rain on Sunday. Okay. Sure.
Right. Let's go to Munich. We're gonna go for, of course, our 13th for above. I mean, you know, we did manage 9th for above last time. We almost got second. That would have been amazing. Uh, but we'll we'll keep our efforts conservative. Ooh, fit parts. Yeah, we definitely want to fit parts. I forgot about that. Uh, we've got new parts now, don't we? Suspension. Brakes. The reliability on them is good. Gomez, do we want to risk you? Yeah. Are you angry? You know, in which case you can have the brakes the break the rules, I don't care. Uh right. Right, I'm angry if I do that. Fine. Okay. Let's race. We're now breaking the rules. There's only a low chance of us getting caught, but we are breaking the rules. Hello, Germany. Not Ardennes. Not Belgium. Munich, Germany. I know the difference. Right. Practice day. Standard setup. Why would we want to run mediums here? Like, they'll last for just less than the entire race. We'll run softs. Uh, there'll be rain today. Only a 40% chance of rain tomorrow. We'll run softs. We'll have to try it. Car setup. We will decrease downforce. We will put handling about there, and we'll get the speed all the way down to the acceleration. And then for you... Soft is good. Oh, maybe we should. Maybe we should bet on the slicks. Yeah, we're gonna bet on the intermediates. Let's hope it rains tomorrow. Because we'll get a nice buff there. Um, try that. Stint. One lap, yes. Alright, out you go. And then instantly bring back in. They're going to be doing terrible times because they're currently on Inters and uh, there's no water on the track. Inters are, of course, designed for medium water. There will be water soon, but not right now. In fact, the water's actually going to get up to wet. Stiffen up the handling. The suspension is struggling. I missed the rest. So you want me to stiffen up the handling. Okay. Downforce, you need to ramp that up to about here. We'll try that. Get you straight back out immediately. Okay. You, on the other hand, have got great, very poor, good. Try that. And immediately get out. This is your chance now. If we're all on the track, your tyres are going to pay off. Ah, this is the outlap. Right, so you won't actually be doing a proper time here. It's going to be super wet by the time you actually get to do anything. We'll just bring you back in immediately. 
Nice drop of the handling. Tweaking the downforce is good. Okay, we've got a good, good, good. Which isn't great. Like, obviously it's not great. Try upping that to there. Try decreasing the downforce a little bit. We'll try and get that handling. Just a little bit up there. Great, excellent, excellent. Sweet. Uh, in which case, we're on 96%. We'll tweak the downforce just to give that a little bit of a go. Else is practicing on no and there's two other people practicing on inters. One person oh five people. Four four. Yeah, they're just in better times than me. Yeah, okay. We're on our out lap now. The water should be excellent. Mm, it's gonna be bottom of the pack actually. Yeah, we're gonna do terrible times because the water is now too little for our enters. Oh well. Okay, we've got our knowledge on inters. Look at that, our times are going to be dreadful. Oh, we don't actually have a time, that's why. Oh, we just got best time. Oh, it just beaten. We literally had just got best time in sector one and immediately got beaten. Because people are running non inters now, so they're obviously going to do good times. That makes sense. Not that matters, it's not qualifying, it's just a practice. Yeah, seventh and eighth. Right, bring him in. Let's see if we can change anything. I doubt we will. They're just saying they're very happy right now, which I'm totally down with. Great, great, great. Get straight back out there. What about you? Good, excellent, great. Okay, so the downforce needs to go down a little bit. But the speed was better exactly where it is. So, cranking the speed's gonna be tough. That'll do. Get back out there. Give it all the welly. Want to learn all about inters. And let's give it all we've got. Right, come on. Let's get to tier two. Give me that sweet tier 2 knowledge. I don't know if we're going to make it. I don't think we are. We're going to be stuck with tier 1 knowledge. Oh well. At least we've got great, great, great across the board there. Great, excellent, excellent. Sweet. And we've got the slow slap, despite the fact we ran on inters the entire way. Without changing them, I might add. Not that the time matters. Go, let's see him racing! Smiley face, smiley face, smiley face! Love. Okay. It's wet! 
Is it wet or is it inters? As if it's too wet for inters. It's gonna be wet. It is going to be very wet. Okay, well. Okay. We'll take race trim, we'll get rid of intermediates, and we'll go for pit stop refueling. Refueling is 50% faster. Over here, intermediate tires wear more slowly. It would have been great if we could combo that, but uh, we'll take race trim instead. We'll continue to take that just in case. Mm, do we? No, we'll want to get performance increase because we won't be wearing intermediates for very long. Car setup. Don't want to change that. We're good. What we will actually want to know is about the fuel. It's a 15 lap. There, we're going to be doing two pit stops. There's no way we can make that fuel last. We can maybe push a six tank to go to seven. We're not going to be able to push a tank to be able to go to eight. A seven and eight would be way too much. So. Do we want to drop a lap of fuel? We would go considerably faster. Gomez can drop a lap of fuel. He will be pushing it, though. Okay. I can't do that. I can't push it that much. We need the one extra lap of fuel. Just as a safety net. And immediately coming out the gate, I want you... Overtaking you on high. And you're going to have to attack with your tires to just get them warm enough. Alright, let's do this. Some people are on Inters. They're crazy. Yeah, Inters are actually going to be better for this first section of the lap. But as soon as we're halfway through this lap, it's going to be wet tires. Okay, Anting's up in third now. Really trying to warm those tires up. Oh, we're in fourth. Come on. Okay, we're going to drop back to just high fuel usage. We'll drop you back to medium, just pushing the tires now since the tires are warming up. We'll drop you back to medium fuel usage. Okay. Yeah, you're in Inters right now. You're going to start suffering any second, mate. You've got up to second in Inters. Whoa, we're having mechanical problems already? Someone collided with me. What the hell? Ah, and we just missed the pits. We're going to have to pit to replace that. I think someone crashed out, at least. What's the weather looking like? Looking like wets. Okay. We're going to have to do a pit stop. It's going to take eight seconds to fit. Dreyfus has crashed out. Dreyfus is probably one who hit us and took our front wing off. This is a problem with water. Water on the track, it's super dangerous. Everyone else who's pitted, by the way, I suspect they also had issues with the crash as well. Because they've pitted for a very long time. That's... Oh, so harsh. Ruining our chances based on that. Someone else? What? Someone else took Andrew Gomez's wing off as well. Oh, this is just a nightmare situation. You know what? We might be able to make this work. We can pit early here. You have wets. If we top up fuel to max, six laps of fuel, 12 laps remaining, we might be able to make that work. Park condition. Fix the front wing. 
go safe. Currently pitting over here. Wings done, go, go, go. And we're out before 16. Okay, good. You're on lap three. Try and make your fuel last. Try and make your fuel last. We've got 15 laps to go. What have you got? You've got six laps of fuel. You're on your third lap. If you can make your fuel last, you might need one more pit stop. Gomez. Push everything to the limit because you're getting new stuff anyway. You know, I'm going to change your pit orders. I actually want you on enters. Because the rain is going to be down in a lap's time. Fuel options. Max out the fuel. Fix. Okay. Do it. Gomez is right behind Faith. No, I don't want to get the car out on wet tires. Shut up. I already explained this is part of my strategy. How are we doing? 14th is right behind us because 14 is on wet tires and we're on intermediates. Doesn't matter. We'll be winning soon. Intermediate is going to start shining soon. The problem is we're going to have to make it a while on inters. We're going to have to make it up to like lap 9. And people are going to be picking very shortly for softs. But if they do pit for softs, they're going to have to pop in again. So they've got choices. They can either pit twice now for new tyres, or they can pit once. Well, pit twice for fuel, or pit once and hold on. Yeah, no, I'm not changing you yet. You're going to have to survive on wets for another three laps, which is... Ugh. You know what? How long would it take to change you to softs? Eight seconds? That's probably worth it. Wets are going to really hamper your ability to go. Uh, we will refuel you to five laps of fuel. You need to push your tires a bit harder. They're not the right heat. People are on softs and mediums now. No! Mistake! How long's a mistake? Eight seconds. Oh, that's bad. Still out in 12th. Gomez is getting a record for Sector 1. No, you're not coming into shut up. Record for Sector 2. Record for Sector 3, although we're now being beaten because we're going around into and someone else is going around the softs, so. Whatever. Gomez, can you make your inters last? Another lap. One lap. You're on lap 8. You've got to make it to lap 9 so that you're starting lap 10. You know what? You could pit right now. Yeah, we're going to pit you. Pit the softs. So six left remaining with six left of fuel. Good. Park condition. Sure. We'll do a safe pit. Okay, you've pushed your tires a little bit too hard there. 
How long have you got to go? You're going to have to pit again for fuel. Not great. At least everyone else is going to pit for fuel. Whereas we know Gomez is not going to have to pit for fuel now. We've pitted more than everyone else, but that's because we had the uh, issue with our front wing. Damn people colliding with us. I mean, it might have been our fault, but I'm going to say it was their fault. It's definitely their fault. Those tires are warm enough. Go back to a more neutral stance. If 12 overtakes you, that's fine. 12's going to have to pit any... Oh, 12 might not have to pit. 12 stopped twice. Hmm. Meanwhile, Anthony... Afford to push your fuel a little bit harder because you're going to have to pit anyway. Okay, here we go. Pit. New softs. Fuel. Park condition. Good. Pit strategy. Doesn't matter. And we're in. Hit quick, hit quick. We're good, we're out. We've jumped a position. We're in 12th. Awesome, Gomez is intense. People are starting to pit. Everyone else in front of us has now pitted. We're not really gonna be jumping much. Everyone else has now pitted twice. Feel an issue with the brakes? Well, you're gonna have to shut up about the brakes. Oh, we're now in eighth. I mean, we're not going to get third, but that's fine by me. An 8th and a 13th is both good. Or an 8th and 12th. Especially considering that we had both of our front wings come off. That did cost us a lot, but apparently it worked. Push your tyres a little bit. I don't think it's going to be enough. I can't push the fuel. We need the fuel. That's fine. It happens. We've got parts looking dodgy. Well, they're just going to have to stay looking dodgy, aren't they? We've got two laps to go. And we're looking very good here. Anthony's got some behind them, like, by 20 seconds. I don't know why I'm looking there. I can look at the gap. Yeah, 20 seconds. Your split time is... Ooh, person behind you, though, has got mechanical problems. Five seconds. That's good. That's good. Oh, actually, no. Whoever had mechanical problems might not be behind us anymore. All right, you're on lap 14. You've got this, Gomez. Did I get the laps wrong? I got the laps wrong. I screwed up the laps. Gomez is going to be out of fuel. Go conservative, go conservative, go conservative. Crap. We are now out of fuel. Okay, Anthony's in 11th. Gomez is out of fuel and coasting. Will we make it to 10th? Or will 10th overtake us? Uh, will we make it to 10th? Oh, yeah, 10th is going to overtake us here. Just going to make it over the finish line to get 10th. That's fine. 10th and 11th. I will take. I will take middle of the pack considering we started at the bottom of the league table. Middle of the pack after being at the bottom of the league table is a big win for us. So... Now, they are going to do a car inspection. And we are technically breaking the rules here. Hey, especially, especially considering we both had collisions early on. Don't knock it. We both did collisions. Yeah! They didn't catch us. Okay, okay. That was. Ooh, hello! Drive through penalties to all of you. That's probably because they were the ones causing crashes. So I think we got off lightly. We didn't cause any crashes. Jumped up position 12, jumped up position 16. 
We're now in position seven on the leaderboard. Ooh. Very nice. Pretty cool. Good fashion sense. It's nice to see someone sharp on the pit wolf once. Thank you very much, Han. That was good. That was that was very I am very pleased with that outcome. Hey, we got we got hit. Both of our drivers got collided with by someone else. It's not our fault. It was their fault. We didn't get penalized. We came fifth for drivers in the race. Marketability increases. Chairman happiness is 100. Can't improve. Drivers are maxed out. Your stats actually improved, but you actually still suck. Well, at least you're keeping the... Oh, come on. I did well. Give me some praise. We're technically breaking the rules, but... Eh, we've got to break the rules occasionally. You've got to break the rules to make a few eggs. That's saying, right? Nonetheless, uh, we're going to leave this episode here. Munich went well. We've got Guildford in 24 days. We can do this. We can do this. I've an Elysium. Like, subscribe, but until next time, stay shiny.